Uh, when we look at our high school grades, we have, for the first time um, in uh, FCAT uh, school grade history, no D or F schools um, in Duval County Public Schools. And in addition to that, if you look at the state average, there are six 6% uh, of high schools in the state of Florida uh, have a D or an F, and again, Duval County Public Schools has zero D or F high schools um, for the first time in, in its history. In addition to that, uh, with the release of high school grades now, 86% of our schools are A, B, or C schools, and 60% of schools are now A and B schools. You can all clap. <laughs> And we can now finally talk about um, examples of excellence. And, and we know that our students have been working hard, um, uh, our, our district in general, particularly on these schools, but now we have the school grades to reflect that work. So very specifically, uh, now uh, Re Rebalt is uh, an A school. <laughs> Andrew Jackson is a B school. And, and, and Raines High School is a C school. So all, all high schools that were previously under sanction from the state or the threat of being sanctioned by the state, so we can include Ed White in that conversation, Forrest now in the conversation, all schools that were previously under sanction or were under the threat of being under sanction based on these school grades that were now released are now exiting that criteria and will, be, uh, will not be in any state of, of sanction as we continue this school year and move on to the next year. Principals, teachers, administrators, staff, folks who are dedicated in this district to make children succeed. And I hope today that the community recognizes it, surrounds us, and continues to want to collaborate and work with the school district each and every day. Because we've got to this point, now we're ready to go to great. We want to take this opportunity to, to say one message to the students, and it's about that passion. It's about the passion that Dr. Young showed when I witnessed where he would bring in every class, every nine weeks, bring them into his conference room and talk to them for 20 minutes and listen to them. And he encouraged them to stay above the fray. And he constantly told them, you lift your head up and you move forward. You don't read the newspaper, don't listen to the media because you are better than who they say you are. I know it and you know it. And I said I wasn't going to cry because I cried last night. But these are tears of joy. And these tears are nourishing my soul because I know what is capable in District 4 and 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and 7. And this is just testament of their ability. And it finally, the school grade reflects who they are in terms of students' capability, in terms of teachers' commitment, in terms of administrator leadership. Our teachers, our faculty, our staff, um, knowing that our work is not easy at all, but you have not given up. You never, ever gave up. To our parents for believing in us enough to entrust your children to us. Even when the data was not showing what we knew that it should show, you knew that our school was going in the right direction and you entrusted your children to us. But more importantly to my children, my babies, my A-J-T-I-G-E-R's, I love you so much. But more than anything, I, I repeat what Ms. Wright said as she was standing. There is not anything, you hear us say it every day, there is not anything that you cannot accomplish through hard work and perseverance. You can make it happen. It doesn't matter what it is. There is no obstacle that you cannot overcome. It takes work and sometimes you have to fall down several times before you can get back up. But when you get up, you get up and you get up proud. But when, when I spoke to Dr. Vitti last night, I cried, I danced, I did some of everything because talk about the hits. Talk about, whew, talk about people not giving you the credibility when you say that 
these schools could achieve, that the, child, that the children in these schools um, have great potential, and that all we needed to do was to engage them. We knew that we were persevering for one particular reason, and that is to be able to stand here today. So the late, the late Dr. Benjamin E. Mays, who was the president of Morehouse College and the mentor to Dr. Martin Luther King, said it is not a calamity to die with dreams unfulfilled, but it is a calamity not to dream. I dreamed of this day. And thank you all and thank God for it happening. Most of the credit goes to the principals and teachers who were there on the firing line day in and day out. And they believed, and eventually I think what turned the corner, because I knew one of the first questions today was going to be, what was different? I think what was different is by the third year, the students began to believe it themselves and take ownership and responsibility. First it took the leadership, then it took the instructional staff, and by the third year, the students were believing the things that have been said the last couple of years, and that is, we have confidence in you. If you will work hard and follow our guidance and direction, we will be successful together, and I think that's what put us over the top.